Hello everyone, this is Sophia Sando. Today I'm going to talk about lead code 1A991, uh, cutting ribbons. If you like the videos, uh, you can support me by subscribing my channel. You also can find the uh, uh, complete code of the video and um, all of my video links in the description below. So first of all, let's look at the problem. We're given a list of the ribbon lengths and the K. Then eventually, our goal is to obtain k ribbons of all the same positive integer lengths, so return the maximum possible positive integer. For the first example, the output should be five because five is the maximum length we can obtain for k ribbons by cutting nine to one five and seven to a five, and five itself is five, so we got three. Then the third examples. Um, we will return zero because it's request k is twenty two, but at most we can only get twenty one um, part of ribbon. So the naive way to solve this problem, of course, um, we want to search the range uh, from sum divided by k to zero. Sum divided by k is the maximum length we can um, obtain. And the zero is means we are not able to get the, the part. So we do this in the reversely, so make sure um, we can find the first and the way to qualify the requirements, but this which is the maximum one. So we have how function to check whether i is possible. If it does, we can directly return two. Um in this is possible how function. We accumulate uh, the length for each ribbon's cut. Then for each ribbon, we try to um, cut ribbons uh, in the in the length uh, so that we just uh, add those uh, parts into the accumulated length. As long as we get the accumulated length greater or equal than k, which means the length is uh, qualified, we return two. Then by looking for the computation complexity, um, first we have four loop here. For example, we are assuming some divided k is n. Um, then we have a nested for loop here. We assuming the ribbon length is n. So eventually we will uh, have n multiply m as computation complexity. So when you Think about search problem. So binary search directly coming to our mind. Um, basically, the whole search pattern is kind of monotonic. Um, then here is the the template I used to use to resolve the binary search problem. Um, my search range usually I want to take left uh, to the right. The right means it's not. Um, the right one is not a fit for my searching range. So which have I have a while loop here to a left pointer smaller than right pointer. Then basically what I want to search for this problem is I want to search the first impossible integer. Then the idea behind this is the first impossible integer minus one will be the maximum positive integer we are looking for. And then here the template is uh, mid pointer. Then if it's possible, we propagate left pointer. Otherwise, we propagate right pointer. Eventually, we find the max uh, first impossible integer. Then we do minus one. Uh, here I use right point minus one, but I think a left point minus one is more makes sense based on my definition, and uh, both two will work. Then let's show me an example how the whole thing uh, works. So we'll start with ribbons seven five nine and k equal to three. So at start left will be zero. Here is sum divided by k plus one. So I do plus one here because uh, I'm really have open range in the in the end of this range. So right is eight. Then um, the mid pointer is four. Uh, of course, it's possible. Because seven have one, four, five have one, nine have two. So okay, so we got four greater than three. 
And then once we have mid pointers possible, we get a left pointer mid equal to mid point plus one, it will be five. And then mid point six, six is uh, not possible, so it's false. Then if it's not possible, right point will be equal to mid pointer, so we opt right to six. Um, then our mid point is five this time, so five is possible. Um, because these have one, 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 so it's true. Then, if it's possible, left point will equal to midpoint plus one. So we have six here. Uh, at this time, right pointer is equal to right pointer. Uh, we will uh, quit this while loop. Then we will return left point minus one, which is five. And this is the correct answer of this problem. Um, one thing I do want to warn you that um, how you Define the search problem is is very important uh, for binary search. If you re remember previously, I do search the uh, first impossible integer. So right now, I change my problem definition is I want to find the last possible maximum integer. Um, I don't really find a correct answer for this, but let me explain. Uh, for one example, how it one works. Uh, here everything is same. Uh, since I'm looking for the the last possible integer, um, then so my left point and right point has to be all uh, including the possible integer. So if it's possible, left pointer I cannot move, so it should be equal to mid pointer. If it's not possible. I right pointer cannot move as well because if you remember correctly my right pointer is really um the one not possible because I'm using left close right open range. So based on definition, um my right pointer is supposed to be the first one not impossible, so right pointer minus one will be the um possible one. Then let me show you why this method won't work. Uh, use same example. So first, again, okay, same is left is stop is zero, right stop is eight. We got four, uh, and then left equal to four, eight. We got six. Six is not possible. And then right point will be six, left four, and mid is five. Five we put the uh, five is left because it's true. Uh, you got five six, and the mid is five again. Uh, five is true. Then we kind of repeat this, we put the 5 as left and right is still 6 and mid 5 is, then this goes forever. Um, so I try different kind of combination with this definition to include all the, uh, the search with my range is for the possible integer, um, but I didn't find a way to do that. Um, so this is why I want to warn you like like when you use binary search, very be careful uh, when this happens. If this kind of forever while loop happens, it may, maybe indicates um, the pop, you need to switch away to uh, redefine the problems. Like here is I include all the possible integers to my range. Uh, you can think about just including all the impossible integers in the range, uh, for instance. Then, this is the complete code um, for my definition for find the, the first uh, impossible integer. Uh, here we can replace left point minus one for consistency. Uh, then the case runtime is memory time. So basically the computation time is be with the big of O of log n because we are binary search for the range here. Multiply the length of the ribbons, which is n. Uh, we don't uh, declare a container, so the space will be big of one. All right, so um, that's the way I want to talk today. And uh, yeah, this is my favorite templates for binary search. And also very be careful for the problem definition. Um, basically try, try to move like at least one part of pointers um, to narrow down the range uh, to make sure to avoid the uh, infinite while loop of binary search. Um, 
any question or comments, uh, please leave it below. And otherwise, I will see you in the next.